Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neil, and in uh, this video you're going to get to see some of the antiques I purchased in Gethley Gay car boot sale. I know it's unusual, Gethley Gay has always been good for bits of um, modern jewellery, gold and silver with the odd bit of collectible. But you don't normally get um, nice pieces up there, you know, lumps. However, I have an absolute stormer of a piece. Now, I don't know if you remember, I done a video back about a month ago, maybe two months ago, I picked up a Georgian to Regency circa 1830 copper samovar in the uh, shield uh, shape, same as this. And on eBay, they were asking as much as 1,500 for them with sold prices ending up three, four, five, six, seven hundred pounds. Well, this one here knocks spots off um, the one I purchased the other week. It's got silver mounts, front and back. Um, it's got a silver finial. I think these handles may be silver, looking at them. i got to give them a clean, but they look silver. Um, now, this isn't a very attractive samovar at the moment. It's very dirty, it's stained, it's minging, to be totally honest with you. I'm really considering cleaning this one up. Um, there's one on eBay currently now, very similar to this, without the silver embellishments. And I think these are solid silver, I don't think they plate. Um, but I will have to check. But without the silver embellishments, and they'd have £1,500. Now, an antique dealer came to Gathley Gay Sunday, biggest mistake he ever made. <laughs> he was sorry, let me tell you. But he turned up with some of the best pieces of stock I've seen in a long time. Um, he set up opposite me, and the first thing he done was pull out a clock garniture. Oh, just oh, God. It was brass, it was Chinese porcelain, it was, ah, oh, it was everything. It had the beautiful, big, massive uh, centerpiece, and then there had the two, got to have been like 12 branch candelabras in brass alongside as the garnitures. It was spectacular. And I said to him, how much? He said 750. I thought, that's out of my league anyway. Um, I was looking at it thinking 8 to 1200 an auction. And he wanted 750, so anyway. Um, I went off buying, as you saw, I picked up some work in uh, jewellery and I got some pieces here to show you. But the one thing he did have I liked, oh, excuse me, was this. And since I'd already done the research for the previous film, I already knew how much these were pulling. Now, I'd done a deal with him, I got this for £35. Um, personally, this is not going to go for, on my eBay for less than three or 400 again. Um, but I am I'm probably going to clean this one up. It'll be a good experiment anyway, because I still got my other on eBay untouched. This one is minging, so I'm thinking really hard. Clean it up, get it looking beautiful. It's still of the period, even though it haven't got that patina. It comes back to what you prefer, original patina or looking beautiful, And because to be honest with you, it looks grubby and dirty. It just hasn't got a colour, it's just minging. So it'll be a good clean up, it will. But I'm going to show you it in more detail in just a minute. Uh, so we got a samovar here from 1830 in the shield form, and it cost me £35 to get the gear, but I'm going to be asking three or £400 for this one. Moving on, we have a Port Marion Botanical Garden or Botanic Garden Bowl. Loads of these in the range. Um, I bought this because I'd been asked in the shop to start collecting or bringing in Port Marion pieces. It cost me £2 for a nice Port Marion Bowl. I'm going to put £12 or £15 on that in the shop, but I will do the research on it. Um, but I would imagine on eBay they're about 8 quid or 10 quid. But it is what it is, we'll have a look. Now, it's not often I have pieces uh, in that I'm not 100% on, but I have two here. The first looks very much like a Whitefriars, almost batwing vase. However, it's got sliced pontal rather than a polished out pontal. Um, it's got a nice good weight to it. Uh, you know, styrations, everything is cased, green glass. Um, I must admit, I'm still amenaring as to whether it's Whitefriars or whether it's another 
called like, not so much called be a competitor. So that one needs a bit of research, but I paid a pound for it, and I do like it. <coughs> this one here is uranium glass, so it's 1930s, clear glass handle. It's got a hollow. You can stick your finger through it. Um, platform or stem on the foot with a polished pontal mark. So it's hand blown, but this is uranium glass. It's got beautiful striations, a beautiful colour in the uh, sunlight that really does glow. And again, that was two quid. That's a lovely shape. I love this stem on it. I'll give you close ups of everything uh, in just a minute, guys. Off the same stall as I bought a lot of the silver jewellery for one and two quids, I bought this hobnail cut glass and solid silver top little box. In perfect condition, fully hallmarked, two quid, star cut pondle base. I haven't dated it. Um, this is going to be somewhere around the 20s, I would think. But really nice little hobnail cut and silver box. Two quid, you can't fault it. Now, a friend of mine uh, was selling opposite us. My mother was selling as well at, this, at the car booth this week. So, um, a friend of mine was opposite. And he came over to me and he said, I hadn't seen him on the stall. He said, oh, I got this. And it's for a bar for your deep cork in. It's a corkscrew, bar-mounted corkscrew. And he said, it's going to go in my scrap brass box. I said, it's only a kilo or two. I said, what's that, four quid a scrap? He said, yeah, give me a fiver, you can have it. So I give him a fiver. You can have a shock when you see the prices on these. But I'll give you a, a good look at it in a minute, but it's a mechanical one. Um, it's got a name on it, Rapid, and it's Swiss made. But it's a lead, full lever action, and you can see the worm and everything spiraling in and lifting out. So, I'll give you a good look at that in a minute. And my final piece. A lot of you are going to think that's a radiator key, but it isn't. That is for explosives uh, at a mine. It's a shot key or a tally key. And I'll give you all the history and that on these. But basically, when uh, they were dealing with explosives and the shots, and the uh, keys to fire it. Now that's exactly what these are. Uh, I presume the spike would be to stab your uh, dynamite or whatever they used. But we'll get the full history on these. Uh, my camera fell. <laughs> but uh, that's a really interesting piece. Now I paid eight pound for that, but I knew what it was when I bought it. And I can tell you now, without even looking, there won't be another one on eBay, they're that rare. Um, I'll get 45, 50 pound for that little brass key as you see it. No problem whatsoever. But I'm going to give you close ups of everything, guys. Hang on. And hopefully you enjoy. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Bloody camera. Okay, so let's look at this beautiful uh, Georgian sandbar. You've got a silver top there, some silver brackets. Oh, plaques rather with the uh, initials or names on nice little tap on this one and the handles I'm pretty confident as I said the handles look silver as well so I'm gonna give them a good clean I'll probably acid test the handles or look for a hallmark but it's a really nice samovar and it's got the uh, a plaque on the reverse as well here in silver. They're basically uh, teapots or hot water pots. There you go, it's the inside. So, I'll show you the research, but this one you can see what I mean, how dirty and stinking it is. It's absolutely minging. Nobody's going to buy that to display as an architectural piece. It's gorgeous, but it's going to need a clean. I'm going to actually work on this one, even if it takes a fortnight, I'm going to get this one beautiful and gleaming. And I will do a video showing you it when it's finished. And then I'm going to put it up for sale and we'll see if which one sells first. This one or the other that I have. 
Port Marion. It's a typical uh, botanic garden, Port Marion, guys. It's always signed. It is what it says on the tin. There you go. Susan William Ellis, Port Marion Botanic Garden. Always says it on the tin, guys. It's easy to spot. It's always this flowery pattern, the botanic garden. Uh, but it always says Port Marion underneath. This is the uh, the vase in question. I think I thought may have been White Friars. There's the base. It has some wear, but it's it's not finished that well. I would have thought it would have been a polished pontal for White Friars, but it's got a good weight to it, and it is a quality piece. That bar, uh, jug is absolutely delicious. That uranium glows, it really does. And I want to show you that stem. Look at that. The stem is gorgeous. And of course, bear with me. I'll show you the polished pontal. I can get there, you go. You can just see it in the centre there, polished pontal, with loads of wear around the edge. Would have been nice if it was signed. We'll move on, hobnail cut, solid silver top, let me see, where's the stamp, um, there, right there's the stamp, so your nice little uh, silver and cut glass box, this is the shot key guys, special keys, And we'll get the history on this because I love mine in memorabilia anyway. But it always sells well around here. But for £8, I'm over the moon with that. And my final piece is this wonderful uh, bar corkscrew, bar mounted corkscrew. So if you lift this up, you can see the operation inside there now as you're lifting it. As you turn. Sorry guys, a bit jumpy here. So if I lift it up, see it spinning? And then when you pull it down, it's got to go all the way down first, there you can see it spinning. It's just a bar mounted corkscrew, but they are pulling good money. And this one, here you go, rapid, Swiss made. So we'll have a look into it, we'll see what we can find. But I can tell you now, some of these can pull a couple of hundred pound. Um, People like them in their house, guys. What can I say? Okay, guys, I'm going to start off looking at the copper samovar or the Tia Tiern. Now, some of the money for these online is astronomical. These are actual asking prices, not sold prices. Um, there's a Regency one there. £1,500. Um, some of the money's on, I'm a bit asking, is, uh, you know, as I said, Stupid money. I'm not going to show you them all, it's just a few. And that's for some bars. But if I move on to sold prices now, these are actually sold prices of the Samba bars. Uh, you've got a nice couple of Victorian ones here, you know, 300, 250, 209, 25. Then we come down by here, there's one very similar to what I've actually currently got on now and what I've bought sold for 180 so to be totally honest with you if i end up getting around 200 pound for it it's still a damn good score um but do you know what i can see there they've sold theirs but they've cleaned it theirs is beautiful shiny i'm gonna clean mine guys and see what happens i really am i've just made my final decision moving on now to the corkscrew um show you some prices on corkscrews and then i'll show you the sold prices these are asking prices there's a vintage bar mounted uh, corkscrew there 485 pounds 400 pounds 360 352 need i go on guys they pull money 324 that's if they got some good age uh, these are the sole prices of them. 
they took a best offer on that one. £330 by there for that one. By um, Acme. Acme again, 278 220 So as you can see, these bar-mounted corkscrews pull good money. All right. I'm now going to go to the one I had. I and mean, the one I had was a Rapid. Now, asking prices, there's 15 on there. There's one there. They're asking 70 30 67 67 142 for the same one 222 for an older version 36 34 but obviously i'm only concerned with what they've sold for now sold prices these are for the rapids the same as where i got that one's an older one so we don't count but these two here are very similar to what i have 64 pounds and 49 pounds so I'll put it up for 75 85 and wait for an offer. Most of these ones we were looking at, up for sale for 30s and 40s, were in America. So by the time they paid another 20 quid shipping and pay customs charges and everything and wait for it to get you, it's a waste of time. They won't buy them. Then we're going to look at the mining shot key I had, the tally key. Now, here's a few examples, different varieties that you can find. Now, this spike is a powder spike for priming it, and then obviously you've got your keys for your detonators and things like that. Um, finding them sold is hard. Now, but I did manage to find the exact one I've got. There you go. It's got the double key, the key there, the key there, and the powder spike that folds in. Now, they sold that on eBay in May for £15. To be totally honest with you, you can't buy nothing mining for 15 quid. Um, there isn't another one on eBay, period. There isn't another one sold on eBay, period. This one slipped through the net. It was well underpriced. I'm still going to be asking 45 or £50 for mine, and I'm confident I will get it. Moving on, guys. The bars I thought may have been Whitefriars. Um, the green with what I thought might have been a bat wing. Now, that's the type of bars I think it will be. Uh, or I thought it might have been, is this with the bat wing here. But I'm not 100% because my vase doesn't have a polished pontal. And to be honest with you, I haven't been able to find another version. So I'm still I'm in an R in with that one. So then I started looking at the cut glass pots. Oh my god, I tell you what, some people are asking astronomical money for them. Watch this now. Uh, I haven't got eyes to lowest or nothing, I've just done it. So cut glass, silver top box. Alright, 44. 101 for that little one by there. 40 quid, which is reasonable. I think that's about fair, right? Look underneath it. 350. The same bloody thing, really. You know, it's 300 pound di discrepancy in the two. Wow. 330. 250. Safe to say the prices are all over the place. There's another one there, 17 pound, but that's from America. So then we come over and I look at prices actually sold and achieved. There's only 14 cut glass boxes with silver tops. £40, £11, £18, £33, £32. Now I think that one still beats mine by a bit. So I think mine's going to be about 20 quid in my opinion. And that's roughly where I'm going to go to be honest with you. Uh, the Port Myron Botanic Gardens again all over the place guys. Uh, you've got an 8 inch pasta bowl there for £8. I think mine's bigger than that. But, um, then you've got a salad serving bowl, £25. Another one for £33. Um, so, to be honest, you come all the way down to two little bowls for a fiver. I'm going to probably put 15 20 quid on the bowl and just leave it go. You come in cheap enough, I don't want it hanging around. Okay, so that's where I'm at with the stock I bought on the weekend. I'm 100% now going to clean that uh, Regency Samovar up. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get time to do it. I'll probably bring it down the shop and uh, make a video of it, showing you the beginning, the cleaning, the after, make a video so you can see the difference. And I'll splice in them before and after images, and then I'll put it up for sale. Um, I'll put that video up, and if I ever do sell it, then I will give you an update on whether it's sold quicker than the one that's online now dirty because I got an almost well, a very similar one up for sale for 300 and I'll put this one up for the same price 
but I'll put this one up clean. And we'll see which one sells first. <laughs> That's when I get time to clean it. A um, couple of interesting pieces. The mining shot tally key. Uh, beautiful little thing. I'm not selling that under 40, 50 quid. I don't give a monkey. Uh, it'll go on eBay, list it, wrap it up, put it away. They are that rare, you do not find them. You really don't. Um, where else was it? I think that was about it. I'm uh, the jug. You know, it could be a Stevens and Williams, Powell. It could be so many different makers. Uh, the likelihood is I'm not going to find out who made it. But I think the key is that stem, that folded over uh, hollow stem, will be the key to identifying it. But whether I got the time to do the research on it or whether I just sell it as um, a glass uranium glass jug, I haven't decided. Um, the white fryers style vase. Again, I may just chuck 10 or 15 pound on that and see it gone. It's, even if it was to turn out to be white fryers, it's still not gonna be worth much more than what I can get for it as a, just a glass vase. So it doesn't justify putting the research into it. Sometimes you have to weigh up the hours you're gonna put into research in versus the potential reward if it turns out to be right. You can't sell everything blindly, otherwise you do end up making losses, selling stuff that you shouldn't have. Uh, for very little money but I can tell you now that vase if it's white fryers or another really good name it's going to be 20-25 quid I should get 10 or 15 quid for it as it is gone that money will be back in I can be out on the weekend spending on something else so I'd rather do that so anyway guys um, an interesting little group of uh, items again hopefully you have enjoyed having a look at them if you have I would appreciate a like and a share guys um, definitely trying to get to my uh, 2000 uh, target now uh, well, I want to break that but uh, working hard so please uh, share if you can guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed you'll find me on Facebook I have a page in the group Antiques Arena you'll find me on eBay Antiques Arena Clearance I have my own website AntiquesArena.co.uk and AntiquesArena.com or you can come to the shop oh excuse me you see me in the shop, it's Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Foxtrot, 45, 3 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Bye for now.